Perry McMahon with UKFightSite.com, down here at London Fight Factory with Jay Shepard. Jay, how's everything been going? Sorry, Cosmo. Oh, I've seen this. What is this? It's the nightmare in um, Polish, Romanian, Russian. Yeah, so um, I'm Cosmo. Is this going to replace the nightmare officially? Um, uh, yeah, I, I love the name. I love the way it sounds. And yeah, um, it's the same word. Mm -hmm. I'm getting it tattooed on me as well. I love the fucking word, you know, <laughs> my teammates, me and me and that. They all call me Koshma and yeah, it's just a nightmare Koshma. I'm fighting a Polish guy. He's got Polish fans. They need to know what the fuck my name is. And there's only one way to explain it, Koshma. And this is going down at UCMMA? Yeah. Uh, so you're on a title hunt at the moment. This is going to be the second title fight. Yeah. How did this come about? It was a quick turnaround. Um, like I said, I'm on a gold hunt. I'm 29 years old, right? Four and two. Um, yeah, it's that's that's what I, that's what I want. Um, we're we're aiming big. We're 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 not we're not we're not, we're not we don't want these little chumps. Do you know what I mean? Like all, all these bums. We want. We gotta got those out of the way. Yeah. I ain't gonna say his name. I gotta got it out of the way. Um, yeah, I'm, I want legit fighters, you know, this guy's game, he hasn't lost, and yeah, I'm ready to go, you know. Um, so obviously you picked up the Fusion Welterweight title, mm -hmm. uh, obviously what we just said off camera, everything was kind of, everything came together. Yeah. Uh, can you take us through that, how everything came together, and um, how you felt about your performance? Well, Martin, number one, said, listen, Jay, four titles, where? I said, um... New CMMA, Fusion, um, those are the two I want, those, those are the two that I wanted this, this year, yeah. you know, my target was two belts this year, so we're, we're, we're halfway there, and yeah, um, I'm glad to collect my one in four weeks, my other one, and yeah, with the opponent, the opponent, Jordan Miller, well, he's, you know, what was he, 17 and, and 22, very experienced, yeah. but them losses are to legit opposition. He's coming off a win against a really good um, um, Hassan Gilisi as well, you know. Hassan Gilisi is no roller, but he's legit. And it was, a, yeah, it was, it was, it was a time to go there. So, you know, I knew, I knew what I needed to do. We worked the game plan, and you know, um, first round I was a bit too, too forward and trying to get rid of it, rid of them quickly. And um, that was down to just me cutting seven kilos in five days. They know how much my energy levels were gonna, if they were gonna be up or down by the second round or, or whatever. So, so, as you see, second round, you know, I caught my second wind, started working my leg kicks, throwing more feints, and it landed up. Boom. <laughs> he feels like he was winning the fight. Nah, he was forced into clinch positions. I'll take nothing away from him, you know, he was there to win, like, he cracked me with a good couple of shots, it didn't hurt, knocked my gum shield out, because I found a boomerang that didn't come back. <laughs> Go on, but yeah, all credit to him, man, he's a tough guy, and, you know, like I said, I'm going to be one, I was going to be one of them great fighters he lost to, and I am one of them great fighters he's lost to, and yeah, that's it. What do you credit to that performance? being against someone that experienced. Is it like the work you're putting in with London Fight Factory? Obviously, you do some work with yeah. Team Underground, Pan for Pan, and you also travel to Sweden, All Stars. Yeah. Did this put it all together for you? Oh yeah, man, like different like, different levels, man. You know, um, Team Underground is a small team, but don't don't think for a second yeah, that, that shit ain't going down in there, shit's going down. I wouldn't be there yeah, if it wasn't going down. The atmosphere is great. Everyone, everyone's got a good positive attitude. Like, it's amazing. Steve Cook, you know, he's a great coach. You know, Big John Haggerty, amazing guy. You know, Sid, the Muay Thai speaks for itself over there. Plus, obviously, I've got my um, Muay Thai coach, Liam Nolan. Oh, yeah, yeah. That fights on um, one championship as well. So, we've been working on some stuff. Uncle Jeremy. The wizard himself, the guy knows his shit. Like, me and Stilius are talking about it on the day actually, you know, like, he, he say things and you know, like, you believe, like, oh, we believe our coach, but you know what the shit that like, he's saying that the guy's gonna do, yeah, in front of the, um, like, like, what's going on in the fight, the fucking motherfucker's doing it, and that, he's just like, like, I want to say a little time out. Hey, Jeremy, you was fucking right, you know. <laughs> but I can't do that, you know. So I thanked him after. Is, is this, is this like, obviously, he says he's saying these things in the corner, but 
Does Jeremy watch a lot of tape like, during training? Yeah, this is what, yeah, while we're working on yeah. stuff, we're like, yeah, he's going to do this. And, you know, Jordan will do a habit of throwing his inside leg kicks. So that's when you're going to time your right hand. And when I did um, wrap my brain around just working and doing what was doing, what was doing, and yeah, bam, what did he do? Put his leg up, cracked him with a shot, which led to me finishing the fight. And the man knows his stuff. Like, listen, if you don't, you don't want a great MMA coach, like, Jeremy Petty is your man. I'm telling you. Um, just to move on, you had the disappointment of the fight you were going to have with Jamie Richardson. Yeah. Uh, Cage Warriors unplanted, didn't go down. Um, Wait, are you looking, is that a fight that interests you in the future or? <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, like, I'm a fan of that fight. Yeah. Jamie comes, he comes to go, like, we both. Who's taking the back step? No. Some, like, like I'm, I'm, I'm confident I, 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 I can finish him, yeah? And he's probably confident he can finish me. Styles make fights. Who, who's shooting for a takedown? No, nah, no it's not our style. We're gonna we come, we go to bang, and we hit hard, you know. And yeah, that's that's just how it is. I love to fight Jamie. I think he's a great fighter. But you know, like, like I feel like I know I'm at that level. You know, I'm I'm definitely at that level. Definitely at that. You level. You think there's a chance we could get there in the future? I possibly he spoke because um we was meant to have it lined up for um uh thingy Cage Warriors London. London um, right, yeah, yeah, but. Um, okay. I've got I've got other commitments on that date, so it's just like ah. Uh, hopefully next year. Like Jamie is like after, what can I say, man? I love his style, and and, and that's like everyone want to see that fight. Like, that's a crack on, you know. There's something we need to talk about. Um, Aaron Gray is uh, fighting fighting Stelio, <laughs> yeah. uh, Pro Bellum. Yeah. Uh, posted up the interview yesterday, and uh, he did mention you. Um, oh yeah, I see it. Yeah, he, he he did say that he kind of expects that you're going to be next for him. Yeah, he thinks that you you'll be next. Um, do you think that's possible? An ant has no quarrel with a beat. Yeah, yeah. An ant has no quarrel with a beat. Yeah, there is no contest. If you look here in your rear view mirror while you're driving, yeah, and they're staring at there, what's gonna happen? They're gonna crash, right? What the fuck am I looking back at him for? I've had more pro fights than he's had fights. All credit to him, he's trying to promote his fight and whatever, yeah, but miss me with that bullshit, you know? Not feeding into it. Well, what's he got to offer me? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Good luck for him and his camp and whatnot. And whoever's pulling the strings, good luck to them. I couldn't give a fuck, and that's just a, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm I'm tasting gold. Yeah. <laughs> how, how do you think Stelios is gonna do again? Come on, man. That's my teammate. I work with him. I'm I'm not gonna be one-sided with everything and say, oh, oh it's gonna be some one-sided yeah. fight. Aaron is is he, he, he kid can fight, yeah. But yeah, I believe he's gonna lose. I think um. The st styles make fights and yeah, everyone's got a chance of winning, but I believe Stelius will take him up, first or second round. Um, we've got Rico Biggs in action. My boy! This weekend, uh, Lee Mitchell yeah. in Colchester. I'm really looking forward to that fight. The yeah. whole part, there's a, a lot of... The oh, I've got a lot of guys there. fighting there, yeah. Um, will Drew it. Um, He's a beast. Jack Clark and Will Timmis um, are both friends of mine. Brilliant fight. Chanel is fighting one of the girls from All Stars. Oh, okay. Because he's from All Stars. Yeah, that's going to be a crap ball. Um, we've also got. Oh, who else? Chloe Cook. Chloe Cook. I'm looking forward to that. So I'm really looking forward to that. She, she finished with the, the body kick the last time that. I've asked why Chloe, yeah, sometimes, yeah. And like, yeah, it's. It's, 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 it's not all one sided. She can go. Like, she's, like, she's small, but she can go. You know, Steve has got. His two children there, they're savages. <laughs> Chanel savage, Will savage. Yeah. It's real, real, real savage stuff going on over there. I feel like this is a silly question, but you're going to be down there? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm going Colchester tomorrow with Rico and staying yeah. over. So, um, yeah. I saw Rico also um, stopped off at All Star Gym. Um, that's that's, that's going to be a foundation for... Yeah. for 
for us guys, you know, me and um, Alex, well not me and Alex, Alex opened the gateway, should I say, and I came with him, and now we've got that relationship where I can go down there any time, just let them know when I'm coming down, and yeah, we'll get Harry Davis down, we'll get Stelius down, the levels over there are mental. Harry's performance the last time out. I cornered him. Yeah, and that man there, yeah, I want him to go to 66. Yeah? Yeah. And um, that guy, is, he, he, I said to Martin, you know, I, I was a fan of Harry Davis. I actually a fan. I said to Martin, you need to fucking sign this guy. I pushed for that signing. I said, you need to sign that guy. Yeah, he's got what you can't buy. Something that I have, yeah, and that's heart determination. Mate, yeah, mate. Before skill. And then skill comes with it, you know. You can't break us. You know, he gets in these positions and these arm bars and these chokes and you just kind of have to say, look, people that don't know him, you're like, he's not going to tap. They think it's over and it's not. No. No. There's no it's quitting that guy. We, we spar a lot as well, yeah. yeah. There's no quitting that guy and there's no, no secret, bro. I, like, what, you pick, pick a hand. I could put anyone out with any of these, yeah. And, um, God, he, there's no bad, there's no stepping back, right? we're, 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 we're toe to toe, it's just like when me and Alex spar, me and Stelio spar, we're toe to toe, we throw the fuck down, you know, it's just savage squad, it's, it's, it's not a gimmick, right? we, really, we, really go, we really go with it, and um, yeah. Can't forget the same night, uh, Kane Isaac, going to be a uh, shop and all. Kill switch. <laughs> Kill switch is back oh, in action. That kid, yeah, and I say kid because he's young, yeah, but he's, he's like a little man, yeah. yeah. He is the future. I promise you. Guys like him and Muhyiddin, yeah, yeah, the smaller guys, they're the future. Mohammed Morakev, you see those like yeah, them yeah, guys sure. there. Their skill level is, is high. It's amazing to watch, especially his comeback. And you know, we were all down at the media day. Right? Yeah. You know, they were saying he was going to be out for 18 months, and it's he back was, in the yeah, team. He's not having a ball. Of it. Let's not forget Festus as well. Like these yeah. guys all around, like. <laughs> Like, like skill level, that's like they, they, like if they were my weight, there'd be there'll be issues because their their skill set is at a high high level. Like I can't throw a flying triangle. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. a cane and that can and yeah. Festus is judo. These these guys are like <laughs> they <they're, laughs> like it's it's yeah. I, I I've got only good things to say about these up, man. Man, hey, I'm looking forward to your next fight in uh, November 17th. I'm going to be down there. I'm going to be covering the show. Uh, is know. there any last thing you want to let the fans know, let everyone know? Um, yeah, Koshmar is coming. I only finish, <laughs> and I finish well. Shout out to my sponsors, Fish Prince, Black Sheep, Dispensaries, Rico Clothing, um, All Right Clothing, Submission Apparel, um, hold on. Vital Goods, Cove Audio, uh, PJ Franklin Butchers, the Tea House Theater. Yeah, your boy's got sponsors. You, <laughs> hey, listen, four years, four, four years out of jail, <laughs> niggas got sponsors. <laughs> yeah, listen, guys, I've been the nightmare. I've been Koshmar. You know I bring it, entertainment, 101. Us.